The Pirates have scored at least six runs in each of their first five games of the season for the first time in the modern era, which begins in 1900. Things are going right in the Steel City. You're starting to see like a collection of talent. Their lineups getting deeper. They have a bullpen. I mean, the Chapman sign was was strange, right? One year, $10 million, maybe potentially trying to flip them the way the Kansas City right. Royals did. But, man, they start to get to the back end of the bullpen. Contreras back there made one bad pitch yesterday to Riley that ended up tying the game. But he's been nails for them. Jared Jones went out and made his professional debut that and was kid. dominant against Great. the Marlins. We got a potential Paul Skeens arrival at some point in the summer. And he'll, he, oh, you can argue outside of Justin Steele. Once he shows up, he might be the best starter in that division. But I thought it was real interesting to me to kind of fall in love with what the Buckos are doing. We did this last year. They got off to a great start. So hopefully they continue to ride yeah. it. But the last time this happened was 1983. What were you doing in 1983? Well, I was 13 years old. You being, were getting it. Being very awkward. You were coming so. into your own. Yeah. I was seven years old. I see Joel Sherman back in. He's over there. There you go. 83, Joel. How old are you, Joel? Uh, 19. 19. Oof. Right in your pocket. Yeah. Couldn't tell Joel nothing at 19. So I went back. I was like, who's on the 1983 Pittsburgh Pirates? We need some vintage stuff on this. Yeah, 83. This is four years after we are family yep. Pirates. So check this out. On April 10th in 1983, <laughs> Michael Jackson, Billy Jean was the number one song. We all remember that oh, video. Yeah, remember every time that video, you had to watch MTV he just was, so you knew when the. When he was walking down the street, he um, was lighting um, up the little pavers. Um, Seve Ballesteros, we're getting ready for the Masters. He shot five under in the third round on his way to a win. TV shows that night, yeah. Chips, Eric Estrada. Eric the Estrada. Jefferson's new heart. Gloria never Eric heard Estrada is selling reverse mortgages right now. Is he really? Yeah. And the top grossing movie was Tootsie. Okay? That's what was going on. It was awesome. Times. Dustin Hoffman. All right, so let's dive into this tape a little bit because we're going to have some funny mock-ups. Okay. We're going to go back to 1983. Yeah, here we go. There he is, Bill, Bill Madlock, Madlock. The Mad Dog. God, hit north of 300 right there, north oh. of an 800 OPS. When the Dave leaves Parker. turn brown, I'll be wearing the batting crown. Kenta Colby looks like he's smoking a palm Mall in between innings right there. Give it to Without me. question. Let's fast forward. That team liked to party. You know who probably else liked to party? Yeah. Derek Shelton. Yes, he did. My old hitting coach in Cleveland in 2009. Him, he definitely, definitely <laughs> liked to party back in the day. He was 13 years old in 1983, the hitting the streets in Gurney, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago. Brian but this Reynolds. lineup's getting super interesting, people. Brian Reynolds, he stayed there. He has shown up in a big way, 8 for 24 with a bomb. Big double to put the game on ice. O'Neill Cruz. All the tools had a monster spring training. Seven bombs coming out of spring. He's six for 19 with a 316 batting average. Cabrian Hayes, everything he hits right mm -hmm. now is absolutely smoked. He's taking a step at the plate. Eric, the defense has always been there. His defense, he's the number one defender mm -hmm. at that position. <laughs> so there's a lot. Henry Davis, scrappy. 1-1 one, one overall, hit two doubles last night, turning and burning, hit a ball about a buck 14 miles per hour exit velocity. Just a scrappy, grind him out bunch lineup. And I'm telling you, my man Jones got on the mound the other day. Jared Jones, 22 whiffs in his MLB debut, highest by any pitcher in the pitch tracking era. And then we have David Bednar, who you know I love. Mm -hmm. And Araldis Chapman, Contreras, so they took it back to the 80s. That might be a theme for them on one of their flights. I like that. No, I mean, li listen, it, it, it's a franchise with great history. It's been a while since they've won and made a that deep run to the postseason. Open. Yeah. I, it really is. I, I, would ju I, I just hope that, that they're still in it late and on those late summer nights there in the PNC Park and the crowd is ready and frothing and cheering them on. So hopefully they every, continue every, this. 